case, in this video, I'm going to go through the complex familiar question that was done in class. Okay, so city A is located at 34 degrees north. There should be a degree sign there. Um, and it's 62 degrees west. I don't know why that's missing, but that's okay. Um, and, and then city B sitting on the same line of longitude as city A is 668 kilometers away, which is also closer to the equator. Determine city B's latitude and longitude coordinates. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly draw my coordinates. Okay, so this is my first one, this is city A. Okay, and then city B, they've said that um, city B is sitting on the same line of longitude. If it's sitting on the same line of longitude, that means the longitude is exactly the same as city A. So I'm going to put 62 degrees west. Okay, now they haven't given us um, our latitude, so I'm just going to say that that's X. They have given us the distance though, which is 668 kilometres. Now, we have to sort of backtrack to find um, the latitude coordinates for city B. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use our distance formula. All right, and we're going to backtrack to find our angular distance. Now, because they've given us D, I can sub in 668 kilometres for D. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange. So I'm going to take this 111.2 over and divide it. Okay, and that's going to give us our angular distance. Okay, that's going to give us 6.01 degrees. Right. Now, another thing that you need to consider, they've told you that city B is sitting on the same line of longitude as city A and is 660, um, 668 kilometres away, and it's also closer to the equator. Because it's closer to the equator, we have to use the latitude from city A and subtract from the angular distance that we've just found. And that's going to give us our latitude coordinate. So city B's coordinates are going to be 28 degrees north and 62 degrees west. Okay. Now, if you would like to get extra marks for justifying, because it says in the question you have to justify, okay, I would be checking by subbing the information back in. All right, so we're going to try and find D. So we're going to go 111.2 times the angular distance that we found earlier. Okay, and that's going to give us 668 kilometres, which is the correct answer that we had. So if you do all this, this will get you full marks.